some viewers are criticizing this video that I shot back in around uh, August of 2012. I called it Obama bigot versus Congress critter. I realize that it can sort of pour some fuel on the ethnic fire when you publicize racistic behavior. Some folks have criticized me for even running this exchange, but what exactly is it that you're asking me to do? Are you telling me that I should leave interesting political video on the cutting room floor? Isn't that what these folks do? Now, I'm not saying I would never do it, but the default should be showing you every interesting thing I saw. I wish mainstream outlets would do this by, you know, posting more or less everything they shoot on their websites or whatever. But there's more to it than that. Let's talk about this whole concept of downplaying racial discussions, freeze drying them, sweeping them under the rug. Well, how well did that work here? This is the Kraina region of Croatia. This is how 50 years of downplaying ethnicity left them. Of course, it wasn't average Croats doing the downplaying. It was the central government in Belgrade, a communist who wanted everybody to be the same, telling movie makers, if you've got a, a bad guy who's a Croat, you need to have another bad guy in there too who's a Serb. Or vice versa, restricting what kind of flag you could fly, freeze drying ethnicity as an issue so that it could come back out later in virulent form. The free exchange of ideas is supposed to trump political correctness. Civic transparency is more important than you hearing what you want to hear. In Switzerland, they had, you know, probably 50 years of cold stares, cruel ethnic jokes, but because it was allowed as speech, and still is, widely practiced, openly without a second thought, I think that's why it's remained peaceful. At least it's one reason. Or that everyone could say whatever they thought here, or even just broadcast what they see. Now, I am a melting potter, in some ways not so different from those Yugo communists. But, sometimes you arrive in hell by the path you took to avoid it.